Hello and welcome back to Star Trek Elite Force. And when we last left off, we complete our first two missions as part of the Hazard team. And suffice to say, it was a complete disaster since we had uh, three people killed in action and two people severely wounded, if I'm not misremembering. And of course, it's all our fault, isn't it? So we received a tons of selfless episode from multiple people, including seven of nine, and primarily Mr. Tuvok. And uh, while some of these scenarios I think were completely unavoidable, maybe it's possible to rescue Lieutenant Foster, but I don't think it's frankly. But regardless, I didn't look up a walkthrough because I don't want to spoil the rest of the story for myself, of course. But hopefully we can perform a little bit better today, shall we do? And I'm not going to sure what our next mission will be, but for now we have been ordered to uh, engage in some R&R &R with our teammates. Well, so then we do exactly that and see what I have to say about the situation. Probably nothing a good I would figure. Ja, yeah, okay, so we can test some new weapons and we can also go to the mess hall and uh, apparently have some shit chatting. Okay, so <laughs> but I slow down. I mean, I'm certainly lost here as to what happened in the last episode. Apparently, everything is our fault from top to bottom. Ja, oh, isn't that lovely? Now we know at least where the equipment room is. Wow, okay, there we go. Ah, ja, I like the sound of that. Mm-hmm, that's our another uh, prototype weapon. What I was actually looking forward to. It's like an um, energy projector, a very large one, incidentally. On the last time I ventured in the whole deck, I got myself completely stuck, by the way, because of, uh, yeah, bugged out script scene, I guess. <laughs> But hopefully it doesn't happen this time. Yeah, it's just the panel, please, there. Kronos, apparently. Okay, uh, I don't think this uh, lab was available in the uh, hollow match, incidentally. Okay, uh, well, let's just see how we can perform that thing. Yeah, there we... Oh, hello there, friend. A little bit too close for comfort, maybe. <laughs> He didn't take you out first try. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so okay. These are the stationary, so we just try to avoid some of their projectiles. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we have some alternate fire. Yeah, takes out multiple people at the same time, ideally, but not all the time. Okay, not terrible. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, the pal. <laughs> okay, as you can see, uh, the secondary fire projectors that travel very slowly. But they're useful. Yeah, they'd be good if we're out of ammo. <laughs> Unfortunately so, but I think it uses the same energy cell as the uh, Disruptor Rifle. So, we are sharing some ammo with our favorite weapon, the Grenade Launcher potentially. Although, last mission was a bit too hard uh, to, for this thing to be usable. At least on a broader scale, because our friends are a bit branded sometimes, aren't they? Yeah, that's not going to open, but it's not ideal. <laughs> okay, I'm not quite sure if you're going for high score or anything in between. Probably not a bit bigger. Okay, so let's just see how we can proceed. I think a bit of warm-up has never hurt anyone, I think. Yeah, probably not. I don't see a research panel anywhere, so why worry? And apparently this leads to nowhere, but isn't that fantastic? Okay, actually, yeah, I spoke to soon. Ja, fantastic. Uh, it's only one click, as I also found out after reviewing the footage, you don't have to hold down the activation button. One will suffice, which is nice. Okay, so uh, it's a party hotkey 8 for that thing. All of Warriors, I guess. <laughs> okay, what everything is the fancy. Ja, fantastic. Okay, it's only a holo uh, graphic a training exercise. And of course, not really reflective of the, of the actual performance in the field, you know, especially the enemies, because they do move and they certainly don't uh, shoot as uh, slowly. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> the effect is nice, even though the Quake Free Engine is very dated, of course. I think we have to clear out both sections of the courtyard uh, by looks of it, right? I'm not going to we can get to the other side from in here, seems unlikely. Ja, yeah, okay, and the lovely Klingon logo on the floor. Okay, I think there was another uh, panel back here, right? Wasn't there? I think there was. Well, regardless, uh, we do have the compression rifle or some other firearms if we want to use them. Okay, uh, this being holographic simulation, there shouldn't be any shortage anyhow. Yeah, but we don't get a full refill, unfortunately, so. It's all about aiming with this thing and not blowing yourself up, of course. Yeah, direct body hit for kill. <laughs> Very uh, painfully, I might add, by looks of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and there's someone else up here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Really? Wasn't that excellent? I don't think it was, really. But at least I didn't get myself stuck in the holographic simulation again. Okay, and uh, okay, all of our weapons were removed. Uh, are we carrying this thing around on the ship? Apparently we do. Okay, no safety overrides on that thing, apparently. Alright, let's just see what I have to say back at the uh, lounge here on the other side of the corridor. 
Oh, no one is here, no one wants to talk to us, and uh, but at least we have some other uh, trainees, right? To fill in the gaps in our alliance. We seem to be losing people at a rapid pace. Don't mind the gun there, sir. Tuvok, may I help you? Uh, no, he doesn't feel like talking to us, evidently. It's only a pretense of being, uh, yeah, <laughs> polite. Hey, Monroe. Tough break with Foster. We're all sorry for the new sir. But at least we're getting out of this place now. Well, I don't think it will be that easy. We still need plenty of spare parts and also deal with the forge itself, don't we? Hey, Monroe. This is great. We're finally gonna get out of here. I really thought we were stuck here forever. Yeah, what about the allies we made? We also want to give them that technology, don't we? So I hear you did okay even without them. Now well, the thing is, uh, you are mostly compromised. You would have uh, gotten yourself killed or someone else, probably. But then again, uh, okay, we really blame him for that opinion right now after our performance. Even though most assuredly it wasn't my fault, it really wasn't. I was trying to ignore the uh, guy being assimilated and go for a primary mission objective because it was stated on multiple occasions, very specifically. But the game didn't let me, so we fared with both accounts. Then presumably, isn't that lovely? Alright, so the only function. Um, of course, only two is over here, right? I think. Okay, and by the way, it also occurred to me that um, apparently time doesn't matter, location doesn't matter, and uh, well, I mean, uh, reality also doesn't matter to the Forge thing because we have uh, multiple races in here for multiple time periods, and the Terran Empire is coming from the Mirror Universe. And I don't think uh, these are descendants of the original crew. They look like the original crew members, like uh, 20 years down the line, like the colony ship over there, uh, in relative proximity. So, how does the Forge operate? It seems to be even more powerful than the caretaker. So that's something to keep in mind, I guess. And we're carrying that thing around. Okay. Uh, okay, well, whatever. No question fixed any longer. Uh, we got host the weapons in the first game, incidentally. So I guess. Yeah, okay. We have him relieved of that weapon. <laughs> because I bought the Voyager, we're not supposed to be armed, of course. Okay, so best of all, where is that thing exactly? I'm not sure. Probably not here. Of course, in the expansion pack, more rooms would be accessible and also more decks, incidentally. System analysis. Okay, not our concern. We're not an engineer. And there, we're looking at the uh, graveyard out here near the forge. Plenty of alien looking vessels. Uh, then again, the Quake Free Engine isn't really capable of impressive skyboxes as a dome. Uh, Why the mess hall? So, hopefully, we can get something to eat. Uh, we don't <laughs> need an update for this VD. Come on. Uh, on the job, really? Okay, sure, why not? Uh, technically, we are off duty, but you know what I mean. Okay, someone's playing 3D chess, but uh, more modern version. Yeah, don't interrupt their game of chess, of course. It's very intense right now. Let me guess the. Oh, hello there. Anything I can get for you two? No, thank you. Okay, I was blocking the path for our waiter slash cook. <laughs> Commander, Ensign, anything I can get you? Thanks, Felix. I'm fine. No, no, this is great. What is it? Pie. Mm. Uh, what kind of pie? Out of emergency oh. rations, I guess. Just pie? What kind of pie? Lorinax grub roach pie. Have a nice meal. Ugh. There's more adventures <laughs> than you intended, <laughs> A little. Doesn't so look like a pie to be right. Is working perfectly. That's good to hear. I'm sure I'm not the only one who'll feel a lot better once we're out of this death trap. I hear you. Yeah. Same goes for the commander. Yeah, it's only food from Lelix. Uh, I think I'd prefer emergency rations. <laughs> Crewman. Sorry, I'm kind of busy here. Crewman, we don't know his name. Well, makes sense. Hey, I'm not so sure it's such a good idea to get complacent just yet, Alex. Yeah, that's what I thought, right? Uh, escape won't be that easy, of course, since they specifically set up the forge to harvest uh, people, equipment, and also technology, I would figure. Okay, a large solar panel. That's something you don't see very often in the Star Trek universe because it's considered old-fashioned. That's what we have fusion reactors for. Yeah, not even as a backup system, right? I think not. Okay, maybe we can get something to eat from Neelix. Neelix. Ah, Anson. I heard you Hero? Anti-hero, maybe. Ja, gut, fing er mit dem Commandant, weit. 
Okay, whatever. Well, at least it's someone that's supposed to fly it. Yeah, hey, it's a pain of us. I tell you. Looks like we're pretty much out of the woods now. I guess. Everyone seems so comfortable all of a sudden. I guess he's warmed up to you some. <laughs> I don't know about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> well, he just has to get to know you better. Uh, I don't think it would matter you know, there. Times there, I really thought you might not make it. I'm glad you did. Thanks. Me too. Yeah, we're always happy when our buddy makes it back home, right? So, I was wondering. So, how's the Tarkalian wine? I was told 2245 was an excellent year. Oh, uh, yes, it's good. Thanks. Well, I have to go take a shower. Yeah, it's ready in the suit, isn't it? All right, see ya. Yeah, I wasn't misremembering the potential love interest, yes. Uh, once again, the cock blocker being the legs with his knife at the hand. <laughs> okay, I guess then, uh, you can join our officers for a beer. I mean, I, I would be up for a sandwich or anything in between. Michael. Sorry, I'm kind of busy here. Yeah, we're busy standing in the middle of the bath hall and doing anything particular. But the view is kind of something. Maybe we can, uh, get our holo camera out of our quarters if we have one. Or we just replicate one, but of course the replicators are down, evidently. So what gives, I guess? At least they have some fancy plants in here. Uh, you have to wonder how often they are knocked over, because Voyager is under attack almost every episode, in one way or another. And then, at the end of the episode, uh, or in between, they press the magic reset button. In. Okay, we have no technical information, so what gives, I guess? Oh. Party we have caught, is was unaware of that. something moving way out there. No, nah, that's debris. No, it's getting closer. Look. You're right. What do you think it is? And who does? Board us? Take a pick. Like some kind of ship. It's a harvester. Hey, it reminds me of the Aquafina, doesn't it? That thing's coming right that's smaller. Whatever it is, it doesn't look friendly. Harvesters. All senior personnel report to the conference room. Monroe, you better come too. Wow, oh, it will be a privilege, Commander. Who can I get killed next? Because <laughs> it's all my fault, anyhow. Does anyone have any idea what this thing is? I believe I do, Captain. The most logical presumption would be that the Forge has sent a harvester to disassemble Voyager. I was afraid that's what you were going to say. Combining the records Seven retrieved from the Borg ship with my own sensor scans, I would concur with Seven's appraisal. Wait a second. Didn't one of those ships tear up a Borg cube? Yes. The harvesters appeared to attach themselves to the stranded ships and use the have made power online to again. tear the ships apart. The harvester aliens, meanwhile, invade the ship and plunder equipment and crew. The effect is utterly devastating. Great! Thanks for the pep talk. Well, okay, but the coin ship was here for 25 years, that's that. How did they escape that? Time. Not soon enough, Captain. The Isodecium is helping, but it's still going to take several more hours. I'm open to ideas. Anyone? I thought I saw something in the Ethereum's records about some sort of gunship that's stranded here, too. Yes, the technology is consistent with that of Species 1567. They were engaged in a long-range war in which they sent out giant automated gunships called Dreadnoughts to destroy enemy outposts. They possessed impressive firepower. Sounds like a giant cannon on autopilot. Essentially, yes. If we can board it, aim it at the Harvester. We could blow the Harvester away before it reached Voyager. Presuming we could operate it. However, my scans indicate that the ship does still have power. Life signs. None detected. I can't see any better option. Tuvok. You and Monroe put together a plan for the hazard team, but fast. We don't have much time. Balana, do what you can to get our defenses up faster. I'll do my best, Captain. Dismissed. The Dreadnought appears to be essentially a giant automated weapon of mass destruction. There are only a few identifiable areas of the ship. This front area seems to be the control section. There is a barrel section 700 meters long. 700 meters? 
Es sollte Verredon Brook. Our objective will be to reach the control section and fire the weapon at the harvester ship. How do we know this thing still works? We do not. We have detected an active power source and the vessel does not seem to be significantly damaged. In fact, we believe the weapon has never been fired. However, as our sensors can barely penetrate the ship's hull, it is difficult to ascertain the weapon's condition. How long do we have before the harvesters get here? Approximately three hours and 47 minutes. Ah, no pressure, Lieutenant. Time. We might have caught a break on this one, though. As you can see, we found a tear in the hull. Whatever did that could... We should be able to transport directly into the ship through this breach, saving us the time of having to shuttle over. From here, it's only a short stroll to the control center here. Myself, Chang, Telsia, Chell, and Satlos will beam in and escort Tuvok to the control room. Sounds like pretty heavy escort for a derelict ship. We're not going to take any chances. Yeah, ja, good idea. Wow, maybe I'm completely commander after all. Once we get Tuvok to the control room, he'll fire the weapon at the harvester, and there will still be a Voyager to come back to. Any questions? Good. Gear up and report to the transporter room. Dismissed. Wow. Oh. Sometimes we are competent, but only if we choose to uh, do so, apparently, as in the last mission. Okay, we need our helmet, so under the Jordan Freeman, we actually remember to get our helmet, isn't that great? Okay, so in uh, terms of the essence, everyone is already left, but we didn't, because we like the scenery, apparently. Thank you. Yes, yes, we have to acknowledge that, of course. Are you alright, Austin? I'm fine. Yeah, he's staring at the wall. <laughs> what do we know about these harvesters? Not much. We know they can tear a ship to pieces, and even the board are scared of them. Totally resistant to assimilation. Well, better that we get a move on and not find out. Yeah, but what's the uh, order here? Uh, which ships are in line first? Because some ships have been here for like hundreds of years, and they have not been harvested yet. I sure hope Tuvok is right about this gunship being operational. I don't think I want to come face to face with those harvesters. Tuvok's usually right. We've got plenty of time to board the ship and fire it. After this, we should be free and clear. Yeah, yeah, of course it will be. Yeah. What they say? What? If you see a light at the end of the wormhole, it's probably a photon torpedo. <laughs> Man, Joe, sometimes you make me think Murphy must have been a bullion. Who's Murphy? You know Murphy's Law. Ah, trust me, you'd like him. Well, the engineer don't know what the Murphy's Law is. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Okay, we need to get our weapons, and uh, we can try the photon cannon. Well, I record it. Seems like a good idea. Yes, yes, thank you. That was our intention. I get first dibs on all these weapons, so what is I guess? <laughs> Hopefully no one buys. Okay, yes, yes, I know game. It's a bit annoying, frankly. Yes, everyone has their compression rifles, so what is I guess? No holiday simulation. I think it's full ammo. Okay, not a problem, then I would figure. So, uh, for now we use the compression rifle and see how well we can perform with that thing. Of course, you shouldn't be running around with this thing over the drawer, but I guess I guess. Alright, everyone ready? Oh, we actually have your own hazmat suit. That is interesting. Tuvok, may I help you? Uh, yes, we have a mission to do, don't we? So, everyone has the helmet, everyone has the rifle equipped. I like it. It's very tactical. Could be automated. Maybe they're automated. Yes. We do not have time for idle speculation. We should proceed. Yeah, there's no place for a crewman in here unless they're very small, of course. Yeah. There's no way there, there can be a pilot in there, I think. So, if these systems are still online partially, that means we should be on the lookout for any surprises. The door won't open. Like I thought, 
Power's out. It is likely we would be blown out through the hull breach should we open the door just yet. We must restore the environment. Oh, and that because it's my job, I think. Continue. Of course, it will be my job, right? Like there's a computer console on the upper level. Maybe we could restore power there, Mr. Monroe. Yeah. Find a way up there and see what you can do. Okay, I saw the elevator, but it probably doesn't have any power because we're trying to activate the power, don't we? Oh, but so well, uh, it wouldn't be that easy, of course. Yeah, artificial gravity, so, oh, well, that answers the question, right? Okay, so then we need to uh, find something to, uh, yeah, launch us from, presumably. A running jump, as it would seem. Well, we can try, because once again, the quick free engine is exactly uh, set up well for platforming. And yeah, so the ship is screaming, apparently. <laughs> okay, this is not going to work. Um, yeah, fantastic. Anything else? Oh, it's pretty dark in here. Okay, let us on both sides. Yeah, I know it's a jumping puzzle. I get that. I'm not stupid, but still. Uh, how we get over here uh, precisely remains uh, to be seen. Ah, that may be the path to take. Hopefully, I don't float out into space because they don't have an emergency force field on that any longer. Ah, yeah, platforming in this engine. I don't have to repeat myself, right? It's very finicky, especially with low gravity. Oh, mark this place in your calendar, friends. We finally made it up here. If we can stay on this current level, of course. Assuming that. And you will get your fucking ass up here, Monroe. No, you don't fly off. Thank you very much. Okay, have I mentioned before that uh, the Quake Free Engine is horrible when it comes to platforming? Absolutely atrociously bad. Okay, there goes the emergency force field. Yes, okay. You don't want to know how many attempts it took. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, Great. So, yeah, the elevator no works, thankfully. But there's no button on the bottom, of course. I can secure environmental integrity to the entire vessel. Mr. Chell, you may now open the door. No button on the bottom, why would there be? Mr. Monroe, lead the way. Yeah, so I get shot first. Always a good plan. Thank you, sir. Next time, maybe bring some flashlights. Could be a good idea. Okay, what is that? Okay, I'm not quite sure. Well, we better be careful, so gravity is now normalized. Yeah, the ship is a bit of disrepair. Awaking these ancient systems here. Oh, but since gravity has normalized, uh, we have to use letters then presumably. Okay, so we check for supplies and other nasty surprises. I'm not seeing any right now, which is good. Well, let me guess there will be an automatic security system here someplace. That seems likely. <laughs> Harvester, what? That's a harvester? I don't know. It looked bigger before we killed it. This is the same parasites we saw on the station, right? Oh fuck's sake, where's this guy on the team again? Okay, he has an excuse, he's an engineer. Mr. Chell, if you would. That's such a research station, I believe, right? Okay, what about those uh, ventilation ducts, whatever that is? We saw the force hit on both ends, right? And of course, uh, now we can jump in here. Right now, maybe it's necessary later on. And an elevator, my favorite. With this large of a team. <laughs> okay, why don't we try that? I mean, I am supposed to be taking point. Yeah, one at a time, very slowly. Ja, yeah, Billy ist das one at a time, right? Ich <laughs> about ist der uh, Ensure uh, that way that, that the AI companions don't get stuck back here. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, one at a time. But are they signals following some. Ach, oh, whatever. <laughs> okay, why do we do roll call and I do believe we have full ammo for everything because the one we didn't need to fire at anything for that bit down. Okay, hopefully no one around here can adapt to our phaser fight. That would be swell. Okay, now we can finally use the elevator. It's nice of the elevator to wait for everyone. Look out. Oh, yeah, watch out for what? The, the uh, broken elevator panel? There's some serious damage here. Would have taken quite a while. We must, yes. Okay, so if it's fully automated ship, why are there crew quarters and everything? I think intelligence once again completely faulty. 
Ja, weit okay. So war der die Figur äh, around hier, of course. Okay, dieser Stasis Pods, I think. Ja, die Ice Bucket. Alles ist empty, I cannot quite tell. Can be blown clear. Um, find a layout of this deck. Bitte, wir bringen es open. Ich will attempt to force the jammed door. Monroe, Murphy, see if there is an alternate route. Okay, got it, sir. Ist wir finden die doing a multitasking, which is nice. I don't know, sir. I don't think this door can be open without moving whatever is blocking it on the other side. Mr. Chang. What is your assessment? No good, sir. The molecular density and tensile strength of this material is so high, my dead packs would barely scratch the surface. Pretty impressive technology, then. At a word. Okay, well, maybe the phase approach would work here in this case, but it seems like it didn't anyhow. Okay, well, maybe we can't. Of course, not exactly a welder is a door, so this is not going to work. Okay, so. Ja, es ist eine sehr kurze Operation, right? Okay, das muss mit der Retter laut Äquivalent auf die Aliens. Okay, ihr könnt es nicht lesen. Okay, we cannot move crates, but chance can be do. Maybe we can get back here. Maybe. Oh, actually, we are just. <laughs> okay, well, uh, are we going to use the grenade launcher for this? Well, I cannot push crates, they are mobile, so I guess I guess. Concentrate phaser fire on these things. Oh. Well, some crates are explosive, yes, they did say that. Oh, I can only blame myself for that, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else, but I did see the laser back here somewhere. Okay, combustion rifle at hand, please. And once again, we're all on our own now. Alex found a ventilation shaft. Yeah, you did hear that, why didn't you? Uh, because I blew myself up almost. Yeah, okay, these parasites are apparently here everywhere, but at least the life support system has uh, kept someone alive. Maybe not the intended purpose, but I think I take it. I have to say though that the explosive crates look exactly the same as the other ones, so it's a bit hard to figure out. Okay, that's the elevator. Uh, at the moment the panel is deactivated because we're still in the mission, of course. Okay, so we can redirect this uh, laser cutter, I think. Looks like a manufacturing room. I can see him. Yeah, everyone can fit through there. See what's jamming the door. The more I'm more worried about automated systems, you know. So, okay, well, start pressing buttons, you know, the engineer up it but I think it seems pretty obvious as to well, what we should be doing. It's a, it's a chair, really. It's a goddamn chair that fell over and jumped the door, really, and they said it's impervious to, to our explosives, really. Why would they make chairs out of this material? That must be extremely expensive to manufacture. I'm going to buy the wood, frankly. Okay, so that uh, is, yeah, a manufacturing room of some type or another. Alright, so we can maybe redirect this thing. Maybe, it's a bit, maybe do. Ah, well, my favorite. Okay, this is the high intensity and low intensity setting, then presumably. And that's the only console that works. Oh, maybe we can swing it around. Nope, panel doesn't do anything. Uh, I don't think it would be that easy, right? If we step in front of this thing, we have some problems. It's not movable by hand, it needs to be, uh, yeah, move with a console command, I think. Okay, well, it was a pretty nice demonstration as to what this thing is capable of. Yeah, okay, it's also, but well, we can't just shoot it because we need it to let the this thing over here. And I cannot shoot the chair with my rifle, can I do? That would be too easy. Yeah, the set is impervious to weapons fire, so it gives, I guess. Ah, uh, so fantastic. Where's the other panel? What am I missing? Well, I need to swing over and get that at least. But which control are we using for this? I mean, why do we have to unjam the door? Because everyone can use the ventilation shaft, can they not? Yeah, everyone can use the ventilation shaft, so why do I have to do it for them? Ah. Uh, 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 okay, see that back here? That looks like uh, part of the wall. And what we need to do is to move to the other side and adjust the laser. So the controls are really here. So I kept looking and I was really 
uh, question with sanity, but it look like as if there were some constructs at the back here, because I don't think so, right? Okay, so, may I case in point? <laughs> really? There's no point or anything, that is almost flush with the wall, and back here we have these fucking controls. Okay, so, as you can see, we now have to figure out how do we need to move them over here. Great, fantastic. That's good, so, um... <laughs> fantastic. Oh, but it's also a problem, of course, of uh, moving this to the correct side. Right? Great elevation and everything. Or could this be any more tedious? No, the answer is it couldn't be. Ach, <laughs> what? How is it supposed to be engaging? I don't think it is, right? Oh, really? Now you're here to see it all because it's part of the game experience in this title. Oh, great, right? And the other button, incidentally, only uh, adjusts the intensity of the laser, of course. Okay, I have to do some guesswork here, apparently. Well, great. So, the... Yeah, alright. So, um... I think this button does it, maybe? No, of course, we activate the other one by accident. Of course, we do. Why would else would happen? Oh, <laughs> oh fantastic. And not in a good way, of course. Well, as long as we don't have any harvesters to worry about when they're getting shot at. Okay, is it the correct angle? I sure hope it is. So, can't believe we're doing this for a stupid chair. <laughs> Unbelievable, okay. It is finally on target. It is finally on target. Well, we press the button and... Wow, look at all over here. Wow, fantastic, right? Great. Okay, the door is now open and we swing away with that thing, presumably, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, just in case, because someone could get hurt, and we don't want that, of course, to be though. Okay, basic health and safety. At least uh, on our oh, watch, presumably. Yeah, we got it open. You will think of us. You could have just used the crawler, you know. Unbelievable. Just too lazy, I guess. No, I need to uh, look around the entire room for, like, way too long already to find that stupid panel in the back. Okay, so Tuvok needs to move first, of course. Uh, Mr. Tuvok, please, we have a job to do. Oh, apparently I'm taking point here regardless of it, I guess. Okay, the elevator button was deactivated by the way. I don't mind the ominous red laser there, friends. It's, it's harmless. It's completely harmless. And the passageway closed automatically. Well, isn't that lovely? Okay, friends, come on, please. <laughs> okay, that is an elevator, though, right? He said as much. Of course, I am not allowed to press the button because it's too uh, high-tech for me, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Oh, but right. since you have to wait for everyone anyhow, so hopefully uh, it's pretty easy to activate the control system. But I think we need to figure out the targeting system first. And I do believe it would target Voyager primarily, right? I would figure. Or we trigger an automated system, but anything in between you know how these things work in these games. But I still cannot believe it took that long to find a stupid panel. And it also takes way too long for these people to move their way into the elevator. It's just a good waste of time, frankly. <laughs> I can see why we usually only have two teammates. Why is it behind the bed? Why is it flush with the wall? There's no illumination because the game is capable of proper lighting effects. Otherwise, it would be a little bit more obvious, I suppose. The glow of the consoles and the screens. Maybe in ready, but not here. Alright, there we go. The door just opens for us. Okay, with something. Oh, we're getting out because the, that's the second elevator button that's special on the other side then. I cannot uh, move around if I'm sidestepping by the way. I can only be stationary and go around. Okay, evidence of weapons fire. And we have some Klingon in here. Interesting. Well, unless we have a stun setting on some point, that's not going to work. Yeah, what's with that symbol, by the way? Are we looking at mirror Klingons from the Klingon Cardassian Alliance? Could be. I was wondering about that. Okay, then you open fire, but it's, 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 oh, man, don't walk in front of him, also you idiot. <laughs> I have to go back to the right, don't you worry, sir. 
Case get off business, play this video. <laughs> Stupid middle idiot. Okay, oh, the sponge performing a little bit better this time around. Ah, we go. Good night for you, pal. Yeah, good question, right? Sorry for shooting you down once in a while, but I didn't mind, apparently. Okay, then we just switch weapons because uh, she had energy cells and all. Now, how long it could it happen? We don't know. Alright, 36 is security, sir. Okay, that must be the targeting computer. One of those gunners. Pretty impressive stuff here, right? I think being functional. Can we maybe get some dates out of the deal? Could we maybe also target the forge, incidentally? I mean, we don't know about the repercussions, but could we uh, with a fort? You don't have to use the chip and then fort away, you know? I don't think so. I don't think so. But the scavengers also didn't have any helmets, so... <laughs> What? Consistency there, friends. I'm processing it through the translator now. They're tearing through the hall! Our weapons are useless! I can't! The defense systems are cut off! We're going to be slaughtered! No! No! Get back! No! No! Somebody help us, please! They're killing us all! Tearing our ship apart! They're unstoppable! Oh my god! Distractions are not going to aid us in achieving our objectives. <laughs> that must have been the harvesters. Mr. Chell, control yourself. They're gonna tear away at your Are there any other engineers available for away teams? We are here to prevent. However, there has been a setback. Oh no. Yes, I spoke too soon. I can aim the gunship and fire it from here. But the loading mechanism seems to be malfunctioning. The charge will have to be loaded manually. Ensign Monroe, take a small team to the barrel here and ride the maintenance tram to the end. The plasma focusing router here is misaligned, cutting off power to the firing mechanism. You will have to adjust it. Then make your way down to the firing chamber. Once there, you have to load the energy round into the firing chamber. When you've loaded the charge, I will then be able to fire the gunship. All right, Chang, Satlos, you're with me. Of course, you're taking Chang with us. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I'm not picking you. Should be no problem. I have disabled all the security locks, lifts, and doors in the rest of the vessel. We should have no difficulties proceeding from here. Right, of course. At least they're sealing the doors behind them, so they're safe and sound about the bridge here. Okay, realign the plasma, whatever. At least it's not taken by both for a change. And proceed to loading chamber to, uh, well, of course, to load the. Uh, but energy boat, I think I said, I don't think it's how these things work. Energy charge, okay. It's a photo torpedo, could be, but I think it's a big artillery piece. In this case, it would be a bus driver. Basically speaking, right, wouldn't it? Well, we won't be going back this way. Doesn't matter. As soon as we're done, we're beaming out of here. What's that? I'm not sure. Some alien writing on the wall. Hey, I'm taking point, don't I? Ah, whatever. Okay, so you can receive fire first. Probably some warning. Uh, but we did just translate their language. Maybe we can tell what it means. Could be important, you know. Like security system. Red alert, whatever. Don't touch anything. Uh oh. Maybe it is just a repair board. Could also be. Oh no, it's more than just a repair board. It's a security system. Mr. Monroe, what's happening down there? I'm reading a power surge. Don't just stare at that thing, it's host I shoot it. <laughs> okay, so these things need to be gone then as soon as we see them. 
Yeah, fetter steht. Okay, der Down seemed too dangerous. Er ist ja vor dem Blöden abhaut. Ja, geht das? Ich denke, es wird sehr schön. Ja, es scheint zu sehr schnell und effizient zu sein. Okay, das ist eben noch gleich gedauert, damit das ist noch gleich gewollt, essentially. Aber weit, das sind Lovely Elevator für unter die Hände, of course. Wow, da geht Uni auf so ein Buddy, anders hier kein Awesome Effect to them. Oh, you take care of this, I see. Nein, be a little bit more proactive, but then again, we have a bottomless toxic pit and no hand rails, so I need to be watching my step here, of course. Don't damage these consoles if not possible. Okay, Torrents on the board as well, but as we know, they cannot shoot through grating, so... Okay, there we go. Let me turn them off. Oh, okay, security, I have just been activated by the console. Uh, doesn't be my commands because I don't have the proper credentials, I suppose. Okay, so Drawbridge has been extended. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything about it, right? Yeah, no access. It's the universal language if you don't have a key card. Yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah, I got one. I don't also know on juice all of a sudden. Maybe I should have picked something up from the scavengers. Okay, I see another console down below. Uh, are we going to jump here? Well, it's technically possible I would figure, but the way up, how do we get back up? Uh, because I cannot climb, usually. <laughs> Ah, but the bridge of course needs to be extended at one stage. Okay, that must be security override then. Also, but before we continue, let's just check out the other area. Are these active? I think they deactivated them. They're not firing back, aren't they? But these have an elevator back here. Okay, they are still active. Okay, well, uh, these are even more pathetic than I thought it would be. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, but they're even pretending they want to help me. Well, no problem. Okay, so ammo situation is not great because they're sharing ammo. And as you can see, only the phase has a self-recharging battery, is what it looks like, yes. Okay, uh, that looks like a crystal. Okay, but only crystal. Now, okay, this is a letter back here. <laughs> okay, we destroyed all... You cannot be... <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Ever mentioned before that the Quake 3 engine isn't really good for that, yeah? Okay, whatever. Oh, this wasn't too far back here, I suppose. Okay, that should maybe allow the drawbridge to be lower. That could be great. Really, of course, I post of ammo, so we don't need it right now. Okay, that was disabled already. So fantastic. Back to the elevator, I'm hoping. Because where else can we go? No one can and will give us a hand when it comes to climbing uh, on top here again. Okay, so these elders are relatively useless because if you're falling down, it's an insta-kill for the most part. There's the elevator button. Proximity sensor. No, it's a pressure pad. That's nice. Finally, we can actually call the elevator from the bottom level, unlike the hangar. Voila, open sesame. How about that, people? Why? Pretty impressive stuff. Why you were just standing around there, of course. Okay, so well, I think that we try out the compression rifle. The elevator, right? Of course. Yeah, okay. They do blow up, but they don't do any damage when they do, which is nice of them, I suppose. Okay, so ammo is a bit of a concern right now because we are entering the mid portion of the campaign. At least it feels like it. Uh, entering new area. Are everyone ready? I hope we are. Nee, von Elevator zu einem Elevator. Von diesem Purpose of the Survey. So, halt den Loading Screen. Anybody home? Yep. I think seems fine. Okay, uh, if these things are inside, we should shoot them, but at uh, the moment, everything seems to be already on high alert because they triggered the security system or the scavengers did. I 
think theoretically you can um, yeah, actually complete most of the campaign with just a phaser. The only instance where another weapon was necessary was the infinity modulator against the bulk and at one time we had used the grenade launcher to uh, destroy one of those power nodes. But I think otherwise you could just shoot everything with the phaser. It would be very drawn out firefights but I think it should be possible at least in theory. So, okay, if we saw some scavengers, they probably have more than just one team, right? I would figure. Okay, we have two doors, even though it doesn't look like a door to be. Um, <laughs> don't get in my way, please. Don't step in front of my muzzle, as is customary. Okay, let me guess this door needs to be unlocked in some way or another before we can proceed. Yeah, needs to be from the other side, right? That's what I figured uh, correctly, probably. Okay, then we keep going. Be careful about this. Okay, I see a pair of recharge stations, and I can also see a friend back here. Uh, actually, it's deactivated now, but we're not taking any chances. We destroy the chassis as well. Voila, there we go. Pop and soft. Oh, yeah, okay. This, this makes some room so I can fire. That would be great. Okay, do it like this. I cannot possibly, uh, yeah, <laughs> process this right, being flanked or whatever. Yeah, these are very stupid automated systems. Very stupid. Okay, so this is the control center, I would suppose. Looks like the part at least. Okay, we have two health stations back here in case we are a colossal failure. Maybe on high difficulty levels, that could be. Okay, so we have full juice for the compression rifle or close grade, which is good. But this is some sort of interesting looking device. So any consoles? Now we can blow it up, but we don't want to blow anything up right without uh, knowing what it does. Anyone good at uh, operating some consoles? Um, okay, so the best thing we can do here and the only thing we know uh, what to do is to shoot things. Apparently. Um, about what can we do? It's not something we can interact with apparently. It's not going to be that easy, right? Should we think so really that's the uh, thing we want to? Yeah, so it's, uh, of course, not doing anything for us. So what's the purpose of coming back here? I can see there's something uh, on the wall or in the ceiling. Looks like a corner of some type or another. Uh, that's how they're flying in some of these uh, robots, I guess. Could be. I think it's just for lighting or whatever. Okay, what was the purpose of coming back here? Just uh, getting us some energy. That may be the reason, but I'm not quite sure about this. None of the consoles seem to be uh, anything but generic. And we know these chairs, they are super beefy. It must be super expensive to build these, of course. Yeah, okay, so we try to shoot it and it works with this, I guess. I don't see anything else. Other than some ventilation shafts and the ceiling. Yeah, it's an impressive looking piece of machinery, but nothing we can interact with. And this door was locked tight, unless I missed the button. Of course, I missed the button. The wall would be the reason, then, presumably. Okay, so the other room was just for um, recharging ourselves. The yeah, bow shoot it, you know what it does. Verhält it, don't just stand around. Oh, that was a little bigger. <laughs> a little bit. Now we have a weapon for that. Hopefully. Do you have any ranged weapons by chance? I hope not. It moves pretty quickly. Of course, it's only going after me. Yeah, <laughs> only. Of course. Oh, this is the override panel anyway. Is that a chance? Okay, but I uh, don't think that was supposed to blow up. Okay, so but good thing we have that uh, photon weapon right. Yeah, of course the only controlling part was very small. Universally compatible, which is interesting. Okay, so that was interesting. Okay, we're a bit overpowered with this code weapon, I think. <laughs> Oh, but so entering new area. Well, can we maybe take a look around before we continue? We don't need any health because I was uh, avoiding damage apparently. This door is not tight and the other one we cannot use any longer. Okay, so this must only be indeed for the drones. That's what I thought. Right then, so there's the button. Oh, it's a pressure pad. 
Okay, then we carefully uh, continue forward. Wow, the scale of this uh, ship. I mean, they did the best they could in the quick free engine. It's just one massive weapon while with an autoloader that has fared on us and the power source on place. Okay, in the magazine, I would figure. I'm not sure what the energy charge is, theoretically, but could this be? Yeah, okay, I would really think we could shoot the um, red things here, prioritize them, but it doesn't work. Why aren't they fully integrated with the chassis now? They're probably still detachable. Oh, and also some flyers, okay. <laughs> oh, they can knock us out of cover pretty easily if we aren't careful. So is it all the opposition in the room? At least automated systems are pretty predictable, aren't they? But of course, we also thought the same about the book. Oh, I think it's the Arc Werder, I believe. I think I remember that weapon. So then, I think in multiplayer or the Hollow Match, incidentally. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a different executable with different maps. They also have a different configuration file, which is interesting when you think about it. So, anything we can do here with uh, jump jumping? Most evidently, there is a walkway up here someplace. To a door, I think. Well, let me guess, we have to loop around. Of course, no handrails. I mean, it doesn't matter for the robots, of course, but for the uh, crew, it would matter. Hmm. Ja, yeah, we can get up here. Okay, we try that maybe. Aber this is the first set of crates. Once again, platforming in this game, you know. Platforming in this game, you know. <laughs> I know about the arc where I will get it. But you, you just cannot be serious with this. You cannot be fucking serious with this. Who thought it was a good idea to focus heavily on platforming? Okay, that's lovely. And this is out of reach. I came here for a crystal and the research station. I don't need it. I could just grab her up here, no problem, right? Oh, someone could give me a hand, incidentally. Right? What'd you pick up? Dreadnought Some weapon. Kind of welding tool. But it makes a decent weapon. I'll How do you know we didn't even fire it yet? <laughs> okay, it uses uh, Delphine crystals. Alright, so why don't we, uh, yeah, give it a spin. Okay, uh, <laughs> I like the effects here, they're very nice looking, given the engine. Oh, we have multiple bodies now. Oh, uh, we need to switch weapons then, presumably. Get out of my way, please. I think we vaporized one of those things. Oh, it could have been nasty, right? <laughs> okay, that's funny. At least no scavengers or haven't for me to to worry about right now. Okay, so we're fantastic. Let's just see anyone else in the room. Turrets, really? We are these turrets. Okay, only two tutorials could be uh, waivers, of course. Okay, so now the room that looks mostly the same, so they're looking uh, at what exactly? Okay, that's obviously some sort of uh, automated forklift type of device. Mm -hmm, fantastic. And, well, alright, so safeties are not in effect apparently, but I'll take it. <laughs> okay, this door is locked tight. Guess what could have been useful right about now this autoloader thingy. Of course, I'm just pressing buttons, so I can only myself for that. But at least to find you can uh, get up here in some way or another. Hopefully. Okay, uh, some sort of power content, I would figure. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, well, we could use it, actually. But am I going to do some platforming? The answer is yes. Oh, okay, I need to, of course, yeah. Of course, we have to backtrack for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. But now I see it, maybe. Then we jump over, I guess, or try to. Hit our head on the ceiling and then uh, figure correctly that we don't need to bother with this after all because we can just shoot them with our other weapons so don't rely on the standard issue battery. Okay, these are not that much of a challenge, are they though? They have to worry about us after all, as it seems. <laughs> okay, so uh, these are just these uh, little hallways for them, or the alcoves, I think they call it. Okay, I think we are now in the other room, right? I think. Yeah, probably. Oh, it's pretty open. So we have flying saucers. But at least they have thrusters, right? And anti graph. <laughs> Oh, no, don't fall off, please. I'm with the battery all the way, of course. That would be this idea. Or desirable for that. Oh. I have a medicine for that. But the energy grenades aren't super uh, powerful, as you can see. Okay, now the elevator I want all right back here. Didn't sound that apart. Excellent, Monroe. You are approaching the barrel. The tram 
should be nearby. Take it down to the plasma focusing chamber. You must hurry. Okay, the ship is so large and long that we have to tram for this. But when I chance it's to operational or in tech for that matter. Um, we can try. Uh, what does the tram look like? But that thing that looks like an accelerator of some type. Yeah, maybe it's a mechanic could be. I mean, it's the most reasonable expectation, right? It should be a Mac accelerator, cannon or whatever. I mean, considering this area is made for humanoids, uh, the distinct infant is pretty disturbing. Especially on a transportation system like this one. <laughs> yeah. Rapid acceleration and deceleration. Knocking you off your feet and then you fall out of there. Okay, so the objective remains the same, of course. Wow, well, loading some um, large artillery shells into the tubes shouldn't be overtaxing on micro brain, but I'm not sure I'm a good uh, operator. Yeah, don't stand too close, please. Like superheated iron gas. It sear the flesh right off your bones. Great. Yeah, isn't that great, right? Okay, if you shoot a pipe, then uh, well, it would do the same thing to us, presumably. Just in a oh, less predictable way. I did see the uh, walkway, of course. Maybe we can investigate this first. I assume, of course, we can get in here. Oh, it's actually possible, but that's a miracle. Well, the might be I just disappear out of sight without telling anyone. It seems like a sensible thing to do as a squad leader. Yeah, there must be universal right in the forge, uh, yeah, graveyard, these parasites is for them. Okay, it's not firing, so it's uh, still inactive, I think. Yeah, but we have the upper hand on these things, yeah, surprise and all. Okay, I can see some debris and some turrets. Some force fields, but sounds of it, man. <laughs> there we go, find the ghost boom. Oh, it's you making all that uh, ruckus here, I think, right? Of course, they are. Now, I did it, but to turn it off, not shoot it. That sounds dangerous, this opening fire. Is there a control console anywhere? Oh, this doesn't look like it, but there's nothing attached to this particular uh, pump, I would think. Alright, really? I cannot believe it would be that easy. Probably not. And again, stand back a little bit. Yeah, well, maybe sometimes shooting things is even that easy, the solution after all. It cannot be possibly part of the security system, though. Hey, Monroe, whatever you did worked. Yeah, we just shot some ancient machinery that could have been useful. That's wonderful, isn't it? Go me and all. <laughs> oh, right. So, uh, I suppose scavenger rifle is not terrible. We can also use stage weapon, but we're fighting a longer harvest most of the time. And frankly, the grenade launcher as well as the other weapon is too dangerous. Yeah. Okay, so what about the other right up top here, though? Should be of importance. It's worth checking out. Now we have to play with some friends, of course. It's all the slowest missiles I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, good riddance to bed rubbish, right? It's the same goes. It's not useless, don't get me wrong, but it could have been maybe a bit better payoff. Because we expanded all this ammo, you know, using the scavenger rifle just to get here. <laughs> Aber als Speaking of the Scavenger Rifle and the Switch Weapons, of course. Okay, so, um, that's still pretty hot, so just keep moving. Oh, that's not great. Get out of the way, you idiots. <laughs> okay, well, then, need to use it, even though it's pretty dangerous to them. Yeah, there is an air effect on this weapon, of course. Okay, so hopefully you didn't mind, my friends. And this also seems to be an upgraded variety. It looks even worse than the one we saw in the uh, cargo bay, of course. Yeah, that's the army of these things down here. Maybe we are shooting the last of the line, could be. I'm not sure. 
Okay, wow, na wir und Ammo für Both Weapon Types, das sind das fantastisch. <lacht> ja, die A und W. Ja, also geht so respect to the good und phase for the bad. No full best. Of course, on challenging difficulty, there would be uh, giving you even less ammo. By a substantial amount, I would figure. If the first levels are any indication, of course. So. Oh, security is on the ball. I focus on my invincible spot next for a little bit. Thank you very much. <laughs> I didn't see that. I think the Kopfhörer and Rifle are the most energy efficient use of our battery. Also, some strafing incidentally. Okay, now it is empty, of course, unfortunately. So, so ammo conservation will play a uh, big part here in the Honorable Figure. Hopefully, not too often because it's full aspect of the Stone Age because of the weaponry, right? That's an uh, imperfect security system, right? Plasma <laughs> tubes. We must be getting close to the focusing chamber. All right, lovely. Thank you, sir. Then again, I'm not an engineer or maintenance worker for that matter. I just shoot stuff. It's the only thing I can excel at presently. Okay, plenty resilient things, right? Um, that's what we have the... the ammo for, I suppose, in reserve against these things, because we don't have a melee weapon, of course, and the phaser doesn't qualify because it's a ranged weapon, technically speaking. But taking down one of those things with the phaser, how long would it take? Pretty long, probably. Okay, another force field, I would figure, and uh, one of our hover things as well, looking at the sounds. Probably. Okay, yeah, there we go. See, I wasn't hearing things. These are more cute and annoying, or dangerous for that matter. And we have another view on the forge uh, graveyard. This Voyager, incidentally. You should be able to see it from here, shouldn't we? It's within the transporter range. Oh, you take care of that hallway and I try to do something back here. Okay, the beep is misaligned. But I'm not an engineer. Who can override that? I don't know, frankly. Hello there, friends. Friends is the emphasis here. Yeah, so we can take care of two dudes and have we're fully out of tools. Okay, there must be a good hope at some place. Do you see the problem? Okay, I see it. It's definitely misaligned. How are we going to fix the problem? I think I see some computer concepts on the other side. Yeah, maybe Grepo up here. That could be a good idea, just saying, guys. Yeah, but of course, you cannot ride. It would be too easy. So the crystal up here, incidentally. Could be a good idea. Okay, so it's for the other door, and that we have to loop all the way around, probably. Okay, uh, any security systems? I don't see any. What does it mean? I don't know. Gravity? Oh, yeah, gravity. Oh, lovely. That means another jumping puzzle, presumably. <laughs> okay, not easy to hit if they're that mobile, of course. These things are just cute. They're shooting us, of course, they're just cute still. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright then, so where are we going? Um, this looks like an elevator, of course. What do we have on the bottom? No button to call it. Well, you cover me, please, while I uh, do this. Lovely stuff back here. Okay, more room for these drones. Obviously, the light. Why would they design the room this way? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. Oh. Hello there. Right, okay. So, um, this is only for the drones. Not necessarily for us, but the force is active, what gives, I guess. Yeah, shoot him in the... whatever that is. <laughs> okay, the other one was a mistake, of course. But we happen to have some spare juice for now. Okay, so I should be able to make that jump, no problem. Call the wow. Just... <laughs> once again, one road didn't jump on command. So what else can I say, frankly? It's not on me, it's only on his incompetence. 
Your work or time jump. I think the problem is if we... Ah, uh, of course you see it in the ledge. I was trying to jump with air and that's a big no-no in this game. We cannot make it happen. So that was the reason as to why we didn't jump. Wow, uh, thanks for that. <laughs> okay, call elevator button for our friends, please. You can use the elevator automatically, can you not? Yeah, okay, that's nice of them. Yeah, I was, if, I was hovering with air, which I wasn't jumping. Apparently, ah, oh, there we go. Interesting. Can someone unlock the door, maybe? Watch it. The door is locked, sir. Tuvok said he disabled all the security locks. To ben Chell is near. Well, we can just call in, right? Maybe we can open this particular door. In the door structure. I think I can. Oh, good thing all explosive expert is with us. Take cover. Well, uh, what cover is no cover back here? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a demolitionist if I couldn't blow up a door. Yeah, of course. Unfortunately, the hallways look uh, pretty much the same, right? Some more variety would have been appreciated, just for immersion's sake. I think they did a better job on the station, in particular, and also the alien vessel we bought it and started the campaign. Yeah, we have two more friends back here, I think, but I can't hit the other one, whatever reason. Yeah. <laughs> no hitboxes, not perfect in this game, evidently. Okay, so be careful, guys. Yeah, for two in particular, right? That would be a good idea. Was it the door closing, or was that one of those stumpy things? Oh, not the elevator, my favorite. <laughs> okay, come on, let's get going, friends. Don't have all day here. I think they said three hours and 15 minutes or something along these lines. And we already spent like at least half an hour on this uh, ship, didn't we? Probably. And this is the slowest elevator I've ever seen. Also, so far, I don't see any opposition. Of course, doesn't mean anything. Yeah, would be the reason as to why. Yeah, the problem is they give us a grenade launcher and a rocket launcher, but all of our friends, they are too stupid to avoid these scenarios, right? So it's too dangerous to use them most of the time. Or oh, the energy grenade for that matter, speaking of which. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to pick up these crystals, maybe. Okay, I don't see any turrets, that's at least something. Ouch, that hurt. A oh, good of you there, sir. Then again, the missiles are very slowly traveling for whatever reason. Okay, so, uh, who's the engineer of this party? We have a demolition expert and two security guards, for the most part. Yeah, right. It must be one of those consoles, incidentally. Probably the one with the error message. Yeah, that did the trick, I'm hoping. Must be some sturdy doors. Of course, uh, even the shares are super sturdy back here. Why don't we build starships out of this material, by the way? Seems like a good idea, frankly. Was even impervious to my grenade launcher, because I'm wondering. Okay, another elevator right down. Oh, fantastic. Hopefully we don't uh, accidentally set off these shells, for instance. <laughs> Okay, the array, yes. Okay, there's, um, they're spoiling some of the ongoings, presumably, with these, uh, mission names. Of course, you barely see them because it's running on SSD, but still. I can see the harvester ship. It's almost a voyager. Hurry, Alex. Yeah, once again, it's all up to me. No pressure up. Oh, no pressure, I said. Yeah, cool, you stand in my vein, no matter how large you are. Yeah, only one press of the button, we can go. We need to hold down the activation button, which is nice. Okay, since times of the essence, we ramble a little bit, I guess. Oh, that probably was excessive. But this one will be. <laughs> okay, how many shots does it take? Quite a few is the answer. Okay, we cannot see it from here, but it would be really nice to have that represented, right? Okay, now the elevator. Come, come on, guys, get moving. No time for leisure walk right now. 
Wenn die Renate schon maybe ist die more energy efficient. Maybe, we try that. Und das ist ein Weapon for Right, die don't weh. Okay, was ist das? Ja, bau, äh. Ist der ein Opfer in some place? What has to be? Oh. Ja, weil er wirklich angry about this, but I will be angry if I get myself killed by these fucking robots here, you know? Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking at the generator, whatever. I mean, if it's radioactive, you know, um, yeah, but it would be a super unsafe design. Okay, äh, uh, na, der Elevator reiht. Wie, nee, wie das käme vom Elevator? Ugh, whatever. Okay, so bright sind die Effekte. Wenn wir das erste Effekte also mit eingelöst haben, wie? Man denkt, es geht auf das Event für die. Ja, wie go. Direkt hält ein Impact Detonator. Ich sag dir, wenn er leid ist hier. Okay, it's a fun weapon, but I think it's time to switch again. Ja, okay, they don't leave anything behind. It's self-destruct, of course. Okay, wie geht er für Generator an die Control Rods? Der kam out the bottom. If no protection bots ever. I mean, even if it's fully automated vessel. Wie geht es der Reaktor vor? No way. Das könnte niemand trennen von ihm, wenn es ein fully automated vessel You don't want to have these uh, large radiation spikes everywhere because it messes with control equipment. You know? And this is supposed to be fully automatic and also uh, well being a capable weapon during war. They would not just extend the control rods down there wide. It would be radioactive even with a fusion reactor because you know that we start on the show. Unbelievable. So uh, I, I, I have trouble suspending my disbelief here. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's the control station. I will snipe you out of the sky if I have the opportunity, friends. There we go. Up we go. <laughs> hey, don't shoot me, please. Yeah, these are just cute, right? They're not very dangerous. But these are some hand drills we'll hear about. That's the first. Okay, cover me, please. Uh oh, more bot. Hey, that's the rod cooling chamber we just came from. Fantastic. Okay, well, um, we can engage him from up here, but chance can be do. Would be too easy, I would figure. Oh, so all the way around. Ja, okay, dann wie Sushi Scavenger Reifo. Maybe all the Stasis Weapon could be a good idea. Well, regardless, keep moving because time is the sense of the essence. I don't want to fail out front some Voyager yet again. And the same goes for you, doubly so. Ja, we can shoot full grade in Camido. Of course we can't. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a point. Fill up out. Viele Werder ist gut against die Robots, because it isn't that some problems. Okay, maybe it's just good enough. Okay, maybe it is. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to stay around, weil... Wo bist du mit idea? Hopefully there's no secure system on these elevators. That would be great. Pretty effective. Okay, another one on the far side. That's lovely. Okay, we're out of juice for that thing. Right, uh, so it includes all of our other weapons. Okay, so which one would be the best for this? I'm not sure. So for the best. Okay, it was just good enough, but now we're out of ammo for everything except for the phaser. It's hardly the ideal scenario. Okay, Torres, right, that's lovely. <laughs> Okay, thanks, friends. Okay, research packs, some ammo. So it must be, uh, that's just not scavenged, right? It seems to be a part of their natural equipment. Okay, so interesting. Seamlessly integrated. Nothing was sent in my way today, nothing. Ja, don't they? Ja, so der für uh, diese uh, Alkohols everywhere. Okay, so wir fallen looking at die Loader, so I'm now die Gunner apparently. You are in the storage chamber. The energy rounds for the weapon should be there. Here's one. But how do we get it to the firing chamber? 
Well, I'm not quite sure. Seems to be like an elevator for this power, maybe. Well, Mr. Tupac, what's the situation? Uh, apparently, we have to go down and push the button ourselves, I guess. Of course, we do. <laughs> A little bit more the end. What? We have to keep moving, Austin. What? How did it happen? Beam him back to sick bay. Can't be serious because I lost the other one of my command. Really? How do? <laughs> uh, uh, how did it happen? I, I disabled on the torus as quickly as possible. Okay, then a force field. Okay, so we have to destroy all of these things and then this thing will move automatically, BD. It's like a gauntlet, isn't it? I think it is. That's a dangerous area because it's by security, apparently. And the only purpose of the festival existing is the gun. A little bit busy here, Mr. Tubok. Okay, I'm not quite sure I can sustain that, but there's a health kit on the wall, so thanks for that. Wow. It's not easy, is it though? Okay, do we have some tools? I'm sure we do. I'm not quite sure if this guy was killed because of my incompetence, or if it's about to happen here as part of the scripting. I didn't want to destroy that thing. I'm sorry. I wanted to only go after the turret. Speak of it. Can you please uh, stop firing at me? Not exactly helpful there, sir. We are out of time, Ensign. Load the charge now, or Voyager may be lost. I'm loading it now. That would be highly advisable, Mr. Monroe. Lock and load, Commander. Acknowledged. I am initiating the firing sequence. Prepare to beam back to Voyager. Yeah, what about the casualty? Maybe one of us should stay here to load another round in case it's necessary, you know. That would be sound strategy, I would think. Um... The effect was substandard, so can I go back and load another round, maybe? Nope, cannot make it happen because apparently I'm the only competent guy around here sometimes. This is feel support. <laughs> Where's everyone else? We took some damage, had to beam you back separately. Tuvok needs you, come on. Okay, that's the transporter chief. But now they're trying to board us. That's one tough ship, but at least Voyager's still in one piece. Chang, Monroe, the harvester's docking tendrils are attempting to breach the hull. Ja, weil auch uns wollte, wir standing in the doorway. Ja, also grab yourself a weapon, it's a good idea, der Sir. Let's have defense. Okay, that's the doctor. Can I get some healing, baby? We took some casualties. Do you require medical attention? Doctor, Ensign, I'm quite busy at the moment. The answer is no. Okay, I'm not a priority. Oh, okay, he did actually heal us. It's nice of you, Doctor. The harvesters are almost through. Come on. Is it thing safe to use about the Voyager? These are really harvesters, really? Oh sh what? What did happen here? <laughs> did I put myself up by accident? Um, well, I don't have another area of the Nile weapon, you know, I think. Or maybe the stasis weapon. It's not explosive, so it should be slightly safer. Okay, let's repel some board, shouldn't be. Monroe, the harvester's docking tendrils are attempting to breach the hull. Go to the equipment room and restock. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm not going to how this happened, frankly. Better 
better stock up. Soldiers are anywhere near as tough as their ships. You're going to need some heavy firepower. Yeah, but not too heavy because you can kill us just by accident, I would figure. As you can see, we took some casualties. Do you require medical attention? Excuse me. Seriously, Anson. I'm beginning to think you're a hypochondriac. Really? If you need medical attention, <laughs> just come close. <laughs> bad, bad set manners. Okay, we thought that safe here is a precautionary measure. At least we can exit that one. Ja, sorry, Pao, na, der geht das hier an der Mikrobahn und direkt. What? What? <lacht> Warte, Mine kostet der für Team Bait. What? 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 Holt noch dir vor Second. How's it sensible? So, what am I doing wrong here? I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong. We're just unlucky, I guess. Okay, this weapon is not safe to use. Which weapon is safe to use then? I was on a bad thing, had air of effect, anyhow. Okay, that's a bit finicky. Get down, stand in my way. That would be a good start. Okay, too late for him, of course. Yeah, I'm sorry, pal. Okay, this is the harvest. That's unbelievable. I thought it was some insects, but apparently I was mistaken about this. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't think take cover blocks against these bugs, incidentally. Okay, it's not to be underestimated. Of course, the answer. How many people did we lose over the course of the last couple of episodes? Or for the entire mission, for that matter? Because, uh, canonically speaking, it doesn't make that much sense to me. Okay, they're blocking these consoles. Okay, they don't seem to be too scary, but of course, they have the advantage in numbers. But then again, there's still just bugs, and we hate them. We stump on them and then love, uh, you know. Okay, don't underestimate our focus still. I'm not quite sure if uh, grenades are safe to use about the Voyager. Uh, but they blow right for the deck, for instance. I don't know. Man, it's like how many people did we lose? At least 20 or 30 already, I would figure, in total. Uh, where by the time we arrived in the cell of the place, never mind all the damage. I mean, we only have 140 or something uh, people on the ship, don't we? I think we do, it's a very small vessel. Okay, do they have any intelligence? We don't know. And harvesters and uh, the guys aboard the uh, forge, they aren't the same people, aren't they? Yeah, but they died just the same, I'm hoping. Is there focus on me because I'm the aggressor and only help his crewmates, I'm hoping. Yeah, please take your turns, thanks you very much. Gives me flashbacks to the last mission in Starting Generations, incidentally. Okay, uh, collapsed hallway. There we go, that's what we like to see. If it's not the most energy efficient way of dealing with these guys. Okay, so we try out the uh, disruptor maybe for a little bit. Yeah, do a spin around and then it's good night for them. Yeah, it's like, it. oh, well, thanks for that. <laughs> Not the enemy I was expecting to fight, but I think I, I did play through the game. Yeah. They could go whatever it was. I do a man. Don't you see what I'm doing right now? Okay, we're out of tools now. Okay. Well, we can be built for property damage later. <laughs> of course. Of course, the very last thing I... Yeah, then blew myself up. Of course, well, unbelievable. I'm sorry. And of course, there's no checkpoint in between. Of course, where would there be? I'm the fucking believable here. Okay, at least we know the, uh, the thing. Yeah, the quick procedure, I suppose. So, the only thing we can use here is a relatively safe weapon. Okay, fantastic. Unbelievable. Of course, if he dies, it's game over again. <laughs> Of course, man roh help and nobody else. Get rid of the infestation, please. Thank you very much. Disgusting bugs, I don't mind shooting them again. That's kinda nasty, though. 
Okay, <laughs> already you're disgusting. The freaks of nature. <laughs> you like that, huh? Yeah, you like that. <laughs> okay. Well, enough fun here. We need to preserve some ammo, of course. I don't think there will be any energy crystals on the station or the ship itself. I would figure. I'm sorry. Yeah. I think cover against them is completely utter useless. <laughs> but it looks super disgusting. And why do they self-destruct for that matter? That doesn't make any sense. Why would the hive mind care about that? Ugh. These are so disgusting. Get off my back, you idiot. Uh, we can find a sniper rifle pretty speedy, can we not? Yeah, fucking things, man. Yeah, I think it would have been a good idea maybe to um, have another guy on the gunner, you know what I'm saying. So I will be killing as many as possible from, from the safety uh, of a pier. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's just keep coming over that there. Yeah, I'm not falling for that again. He he he, they of the world. Okay, give, give me a grenade launcher, we have it for a reason. Still more, Biddy? It's a beer infestation, so many people coming back here, I don't have the ammo to support this endeavor, Biddy. Yeah, so, uh, okay. What am I doing to do about that here? I just keep coming. <laughs> I suspect there may be an infinite number of these things coming. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, bring it on wide. At least you have your own grenade launcher. Yeah, I don't think the pit will be survivable. <laughs> okay, are we getting up here? Maybe we try that. I don't see uh, us making any progress. It's not a <laughs> Man, look at that fucking elevator. Oh, Vidi. No thanks for the help there, sir. Yeah, now the sun don't come any longer right when I have already did all my elbow incidentally. <laughs> okay, that's a bit too obvious in terms of the game mechanics, but still. Okay, someone was busy back here. Probably the guy on the other side here, right? Okay, and I have a squad mate. Yeah, can you share maybe some energy? That would be slow. I'm not quite sure where we're supposed to be going. But I suppose uh, we take any route that is accessible right now. Okay, that's where we came from, right? Yeah, so we must have lost at least 100 people already. And all in total here. So, that doesn't seem very canonical. <laughs> I'm not quite sure the doctor is that much of a miracle blocker. Hey, you're blocking my path. Don't stop complaining. <laughs> what the heck? We do not require medical attention. Your assistance is much appreciated. Oh, well, finally, someone can appreciate us around here. We might have been a harvester snack. When rode a bridge, the harvesters have been. Really? I don't think we have, right? Good work, Enton. We'll get cleanup crews down there on the double. Yeah, and also some body bags. The hit from that dreadnought. It would have been much worse had we not disabled the harvester. Not that that's going to make anyone around here feel any better. What do you mean? Let's just say that, as ship's morale officer, I've noticed people are a little on edge from constantly being on the defensive for so long. I just hope we get out of here soon. Tuvok, Ensign Monroe, report to the conference room in half an hour. ISODCM is working. Environmental controls and most critical systems will be online soon. But I don't know if we'll get full power back. How long before warp drive? I want to get Voyager as far from this death trap. Oh, we have inputs engines, don't we? We might be able to get it up and running, but I can't guarantee its stability with that constant power drain from the forge's dampening field. Harry, what about sensors? Can we... Wait, aren't we... Go ahead, Ensign. What's on your mind? Well, aren't we going to counterattack? What? I mean, are we just going to sit here and wait for them to attack again, or are we going to strike back? 
I don't intend to That's my train of thought. Sitting duck Maybe you weren't paying attention just now. But we're doing our best to get out of here. They are so talking down. Mr. See, it had to come eventually. <laughs> and of course, guess who's sassing us? I'm just saying guess who's sassing us? <laughs> All right, Ensign. Just what is everyone thinking? Well, it's just that people are tired of being on the defensive. I have to agree. I've talked with some of the crew. Morale is low. They feel vulnerable. The best defense is often a strong offense. What are we supposed to do without engines and weapons? Drift over there and use harsh language? That thing's outer defenses could cut Voyager to ribbons. Not every problem can be solved by force, Ensign. I would have thought you would know that by now. While we're sitting here licking our wounds, the Forge could send another Harvester ship. All the more reason to get repairs done sooner. But what if the repairs can't be finished because of that dampening field? I understand. We're all feeling vulnerable. But I'm not just captain of this ship. I'm the captain of her crew as well. I can't ignore the morale of my people. If they don't get a chance to fight back, they might not have any fight left in them by the time the next harvest Oh, the numbers for that matter. Stack the body bags. And I can't ignore the fate of the other countless victims this forge has taken. And the ones it's yet to take. We've been fighting so hard for our own survival. We've almost forgotten our responsibility to the others trapped here. If we have a chance to stop this madness once and for all, we must take it. However, Voyager is in no shape to challenge the Forge. Mr. Monroe, I take it you have a plan in mind. Yes, I do. Trojan Horse. The Harvester ship? Of course! I can take a small team of my best people. We use the Harvester to enter the Forge and lower its defenses so you can send reinforcements and shuttles. If we can shut down the dampening field, Voyager and the other ships should be able to escape. We don't have any idea what kind of internal defenses that thing has. At the very least, we can buy Voyager some time. All right. Tuvok, Chakotay, Monroe, let's put together a plan. It's time we brought the fight to our captors. Yeah, no one ever mentioned the casualties, right? Including that guy who died in the final portion of last mission. Curious about that. We will evacuate the forge and return to Voyager via the shuttlecrafts. Crewman Jaworski, yes. Sir, how are we going to get the Harvester back to the forge? We don't know how to operate it, do we? A science team has examined the Harvester ship and discovered an automatic recall system. The ship is programmed to return to the forge on its own. Your team leader, Ensign Monroe, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. The first team is going to be a small group, just myself, Telsia, Beesman, and Chell. We will board the Harvester and initiate the auto-return sequence. We believe the Harvester will return to this area of the forge, a docking ring of some sort. Still under construction, apparently. Our scans indicate that the external defense's power grid is located somewhere in this area. Once we shut it down, we'll call for the reinforcements. That's where the rest of you come in. Once we rendezvous, we will spread out and proceed down this main shaft. We'll try to locate the generator for the dampening field and destroy it, allowing Voyager to escape. Any questions? Liz? What kind of resistance are we going to run into? Honestly, we don't know. We presume there'll be more harvesters over there and who knows what else. We don't know anything about this forge and who's operating it, but I expect pretty heavy resistance. Look. I know some of you must be scared. I know I am. But the hazard team was created and trained for exactly this kind of dangerous assignment. Never mind the high casualty rate. We beat this thing. Never mind that. This crew has repeatedly surprised and impressed me over these past several years. Starfleet, Maquis, and others. We've all come together and performed beyond the expectations of even the finest starship crew. I know you can do this. We will shut down this death trap. All right, let's suit up and get going. My team, meet by the Harvester docking tendril in one half hour. Dismissed. Sounds pretty final to me, friends. We'll probably something we need to leave for the next episode. Come to wish me luck, Tuvok. Vulcans do not believe in luck, Mr. Monroe. However, your success is crucial. And while I believe you will prevail, I hope that your mission does not encounter undue adversity. Thanks, Tuvok. 
We will join you as soon as your team deactivates the outer defenses. Wer ist denn eben ein Dent in der Tool? Wo könnte es possibly be? Wir haben dort was Engine. Eine was Planet Killer Weapon for Super Play. Wow, uh, we can't really complain about the environment looking very alien, right? After the uh, last ship we saw. Okay, so what's the mission? Uh, we have no objectives because we don't know anything about this vessel apparently. Alright then, so we have to see how things will be working out next episode for us. But for now, I think I'm too tired to continue. I'm sorry. So, as usual, I think for watching and I uh, hope to see you next time.